Hello everyone. In previous videos, we've covered a wide variety of different Cloudversive connector actions you can use to convert specific document and image formats to PNG format in Powered Automate. In this video, we're going to look at an iteration of our image processing connector which can detect and convert around 100 unique image formats, including PDF, to PNG format. We're going to use an instant cloud flow to demonstrate this connector action's functionality, so let's start off here on the flow diagram page with a manually triggered flow ready to go. We can get here from the Power Automate homepage by clicking Create and then selecting Instant Cloud Flow. Let's start by grabbing our test file. I'm using a JPEG file that's located in OneDrive, so I'm opening a new step and searching for the OneDrive Get File Content action. Once we find the action we need, let's find our file from the folder path. Now let's go ahead and click New Step again. This time, let's type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From the list of connectors available below, let's click on the Cloudmersive image processing connector with the yellow logo. If it's our first time using this connector, we'll first need to provide an API key and name our API connection. We can get one for free with no commitment by registering a free account on the Cloudmersive website. Once we do that, our information will be saved and we'll jump straight to the connector actions list where I am currently. From the actions list, let's search for Convert Input Image to PNG Format. Once we see that option come up below, let's go ahead and select it. To configure our request, we first need to include our image file in this initial parameter. We can click on the field and select File Content from the previous step via the Dynamic Content window. Below that, we need to provide an image name. It doesn't matter what we name the file as long as we provide a correct extension, so for our test purposes, let's just name our file something like image.jpg. With that step out of the way, let's now create our new file in a folder of our choosing. Let's click New Step again and type Create File into the search bar. I'm using OneDrive again, so I'm selecting that Create File option. Once we open up our create file action, let's configure our file storage details to our liking and let's make sure we give our output file a PNG extension. The most important thing is that we fill the file content field with the body output option from the dynamic content window. This contains the encoding for our new PNG file. At this point, our simple demonstration flow is ready to run, so let's go ahead and save it. Once it finishes saving, let's go ahead and click Test in the upper right corner of the page, and then let's go through the steps of carrying out a quick manual test. Once our flow finishes running, we can head over to our target folder and review the output of our test. We should have a new PNG file here with the name we specified. It's just that easy, we can now convert pretty much any image format to PNG in a quick process, and we can trigger our flow with similar logic however we want. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Power Automate tips and demonstrations in the near future.